Yo, what is up everybody? This is Cushion Tech here and today I am going to be talking to you about like how to prevent cyber attacks on any of your devices or any of your business devices or any of your school devices. And don't forget to click that like button, subscribe to this channel, ring that notification bell, and watch the latest content. And for those of you who don't know what a cyber attack is, a cyber attack is when a when when a criminal organization, a, a cyber criminal or a hacker, like in, infiltrates into a infiltrates into a com, com into a company's. Let's see, be, be, Biz, business com like technology and tries to steal data from them and and tries to steal data from them tries to steal data from them do so many things uh like tries to steal data uh, gain some gain more example without asking people try to steal money and they also a cyber attack is also when like they're when let's see hackers hack the system and try to change so many modify and change and they try to change so many things and they also try to they also try to let's see like let's see expose state data they also try to unauth have unauthorized access to the websites and all that they they also like Cyber attacks can happen anywhere, such as schools, such as websites, such as schools, business, like restaurants. They can happen in any business. They can happen in, they, they can even happen in casinos. They can even happen on all our devices. They can also, like, do so many other poor, bad things and all that. And, like, I'm going to show you key preventative steps to do on how to prevent a cyber attack. What a one key preventative measure to prevent a cyber attack is to choose very strong and secure passwords. Like, for instance, like don't choose a password with all letters in it or all numbers in it or like all symbols in it. Choose a password that has all types of characters, such as symbols, numbers, letters, and all that. And choose a very long password. And like, there are so many database says you can go to to help you generate passwords there are so many let's see other like websites you can go to such as such as let's see there are so many like p websites that can develop like random password generators you can anyone can even program such code code their own password generators and like but but make sure like the password generator codes like a very strong and secure password and like make sure and like once you have generated that password check to see how many years will it take for it to break to get hacked to find out the password if it's like more than like a, a million years then you're safe choose that and also like don't you cho choose a variety about sam symbols and don't you put like the same symbols like next same types that same like letters numbers and next to each other If you if you get an email from like an unknown sender or like if you don't know the sender's email address or like if you don't if you don't and if like for instance like and if you don't have like a and if you did and if you got an email from someone that you did not let's see receive notifications from or like newsletters from or if you did not subscribe to anything or like if you get like any unknown emails just ignore it just delete it and throw it into your trash and report it because like th those unknown emails could let's see lead to like you can lead to like so many phishing attacks like for instance my i know one person like he he he's one of the smartest people and like he like opened an email from a person he didn't know or like and he didn't know and like he from like an account he didn't know of and he like 
entered his login information and when he entered his login information the, the the attacker used all that login information to like take money away from his bank account which is known as phishing and also and also like if you get like any emails that you don't expect to get it from like a friend or not if you don't get any like random emails from your friend or or not don't trust them that email that email address could be a clone account of your friend trying to trick you into giving your information in order to keep your password safe you can install databases on your phone where on your devices where you can store your passwords and keep keep them safe because databases have like a master password where like where which is the main password to open the database which has like which has all the other passwords and like to keep the math and like and like if you and you gotta the best and you gotta memorize the and you gotta memorize the password again and again just keep on memorizing again and again daily and like once when you like keep on memorizing again and again daily you will like remember you will remember it for life and like keep and like keep the password safe like in a safe like in a locker or like in a in like in a locker or something keep keep a locker with you which keeps your like main database password avoid using insecure wi-fi or like any public any insecure wi-fi for instance like let's see any insecure wi-fi can have like can lead to like can make it easier for like hackers to to log into your into the system and gain access to your information any like insecure wi-fi has like viruses and all that that can lead to like that can lead to like so many like bah bah can lead to like the viruses that can get into your computer which can cause the cause your your let's see system to get down and delay which can cause your like computer systems to be turned off and and delayed always back up your data like always keep a place where you can back up your data and keep the data safe for instance like whenever you get hacked and like whenever someone loses your your whenever like you lose your in your information or like have your any of your information change always like keep a like an extra place where like you can keep your like data safe like Make, make a copy of your data and then like put it in a place where you can back up your data. You can always, you can always back up your, you always back up your data. Always back up your data so you can, and like you can, let's see, like there's storage where you can, on like devices where you can ba also back up your data and all that. always use say always use safe payment methods when let's see like whenever you want to purchase something online for instance if you want to use a credit card instead of let's see having paying directly from your bank account because if you pay directly from your bank account then you can lose all your info you lose money from your bank and like use and always use safe payment methods such as use a credit card. It protects against fraud transactions because credit cards will check will check to see if you have like an ident check your identity and stuff. And like you can always report any identity thefts from the last transaction transaction you make. Like credit cards always protect protects against that, while debit cards protect against controls your spending. Uh, like you do like also use cre credit cards are like the best because it checks to see your credit history it checks your credit history prior to like making the purchase and like they check to see like if you do it they they check to they'll they'll first go through a bunch of processes and then check to see like if you like like if you are if you're eligible to make the purchase once if you're eligible to make the purchase they'll approve it
only access trusted website, only access trusted websites, like for instance, the best way to tell if a website is trustable is like if it has an SSL certificate. And in order to tell if a website has has an SSL certificate, it has to have like an S after the HTTP, which and the and the, it has to start with HTTPS, which me which 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 in the, you know we know what's HTTP. It's hypertext tectonic. Pro HTTP HTTP is HTTP means means uh, it, it is hypertext transfer protocol. HTTP HTTP is hypertext transfer protocol. Hypertext transfer protocol protocol and the S in HTTPS means it's secure. So HTTPS means it's hypertext transfer protocol secure. Which and if a website starts with that, it means that it's very it's a very secure and trusted website, and like it can be, and it like it protect and it has like huge protection, protected communication and other form, and like protection. Always use mobile apps because like mobile apps are more trusted than any other website or like any other device because like when you install let's see a mobile app from the app store it's it's trusted and like in order for like a mobile app to be public on the app store it has to go through so many like protocols and it has to go through so many like different like ba background checks to see if the app is like good enough and safe enough which mobile apps are tend to yeah like in the mobile apps version rather than the website version has a very low chance of being hacked because like the it's easier to it's easier to make clone websites instead of instead of clone apps because clone apps are very hard to find while clone websites are easier to find so. Always use a credit card instead of a debit card because debit cards take money directly out of your account, while credit cards just check to check to see if that purchase is valid or not, and if it and it prevents it prevents fraudulent prevention though, and like it checks to see like how much credit do you have left and not. And credit cards also like involve like. Credit cards are also safe because it doesn't take money directly out of your account. It checks to see, like, how much money you own, and it lets you have enough time to pay it off before, instead of, like, paying it quickly. And, like, also it, and it also, like, let's see, che checks to see if it's safe or not. And I, and credit cards also, like, check your history, your purchase or spending history, while debit cards do not. And if a, and if someone uses your debit card, they can take money immediately out of your account. And if they use your credit card, then, like, they can... The purchase they they can the purchase they can they can get they can accused be accused of theft and like which would prevent them for, which would have them be arrested they could easily be identified with a credit card and they could be char charged which will, will lower the risk of having a cyber attack again. If you consistently cha change and update your software like to the latest and like more advanced software then like then like more like th they would add more fi the latest and new software would have more firewalls, more protection points, they would have like more antivirus software, they would have like more software that would prevent any viruses or like and they would have like more authentication. They would have more identification. It would. They would have more. Let's see, identification less more more security than like any other like soft software like identities. And they would, and it would update to the latest software such as let's see. It would also like add new software such as. Such as let's see, it would make software more advanced and more, and more let's see, advanced and more like 
easier to like like more easier to detect any more threats or viruses. Whenever you want to access or try to access online banking on your like on your it, whenever you want to access online banking, only access it on your home home Wi-Fi because your home Wi-Fi is is the is the safest place to do it because if you do it on any other Wi-Fi, there's a chance that any random person can like like add viruses and like use that virus those viruses to get into your bank account and which it can lose in which you can lose so much so much let's see but information and like and like only access online banking online banking on 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 home wi-fi never do it on any public wi-fi or any wi-fi server that you don't trust because like and like let's see like it's not safe to access online banking because let's see because like because like there because don't do any transaction on a public network or wi-fi because like it can it can you can like make the transaction not what you intended whenever let's say you do never ever bring any devices or gadgets into the kitchen or bathroom because like because like the kitchen and bathroom can contain so many viruses which could latch onto your phone and like if they and if it like say goes onto your phone or like anything not like any like liquid or food product goes onto your phone it can cause your phone to let's see malfunction and can cause electricity problems which can lead to like which can make it easily vulnerable to cyber attacks and like it can also like you can also lose data on your phone from from doing that. Always uh, another good way to prevent cyber attack is to install firewall firewalls on your devices. Like for instance, like firewalls can like prevent any like malicious at attack attacks or malicious let's see attacks or like malicious let's see traffic into your devices and like and fi and firewalls let's see make sure that no unnecessary or malicious let's see person let's see logs into your attack account it like it let's inspects like ongoing tra traffic and prevents any like tra identifies any traffic like that's malicious or unauthorized or like un unauthorized it makes like and it also like let's see firewalls also like check to see let's see firewalls also check to see how like how they can like let's see like like it, it it also checks to see if it's malicious or not not let's see without those firewalls let's see come anyone can anyone is susceptible to an to an attack and like it monitors like in oncoming and outgoing traffic and checks to see if it's a secured or authorized traffic. If it's malicious or like if it's unknown, then they don't allow the per the outside person to do it. It let's see, firewalls help shield your computers in so many ways. Always install antivirus so software because like antivirus software products can protect can like can like detect and quarantine or delish or delete any like bad co evil code that can that's very dangerous it like it can prevent malware from causing damage to to your devices let's see they like antivirus software can like let's see check to see what's what's vulnerable or not it also checks this checks the vulnerable and checks and monitors threats consistent consistently like it removes viruses from the computer it removes it, it blocks malware and ransomware from entering the computer it prevents identity theft and prevents phishing and fraud it warns about dangerous websites sites it's like scans it scans to check to see whether the website is safe or secure antiviruses can like prevent let's see attacks from hackers or viruses 
and so many more things.